<laughs> if you want something done right, very old restaurant, you have to do it yourself. It's showtime. That's what Patrick and Marie thought. Wait, wait, wait. Marie? There have been full restaurants on our spot, and I buried all of them. Uh -huh. It was their certificate of occupancy. But on the night of their grand opening, then you lost our certificate. Something went wrong. Here, I have to go somewhere. Champagne. Look, look at this. I quit. The bet. The hired help were no help, and the kids Henri. found themselves all alone. Henri? With a restaurant to run. Chef, that's going cool. Now, they're going to have to work together. That tire! Improvise. Blue rice. Yeah. And make the best of a bad situation. Or this is sure to be a recipe for disaster. The gut-busting new comedy. Oh, shoot. About three kids who go from the frying pan... They're still open. Into the fire. We're gonna be a bit late. Let's go. <laughs> Mess! Mess! Recipe for disaster. <laughs> and the other two you can eat at nine, duh. <laughs> For the first time ever on DVD and video, David Kirk's award-winning books come to life in an all-new movie, Miss Spider's Sunny Patch Kids. Jumping chill bugs this time! Hey, wait for me! Miss Spider's son, Squirt, sets out to help a new friend in need. It's an egg. It's lost its mother, and I promised it I'd find her. But when he loses his way home... Squirt! I'll send out the honeybee brigade! finds that everybody has somebody. You're supposed to be with the somebody that loves you the best. Join Miss Spider. Bugs away! Holly. Come on, everybody. And a bubbly bunch of bugs. Did you hear that? As they learn that home is where the heart is. You're our somebody? That's right. Miss Spider's Sunny Patch Kids bring home the all-new movie uh -oh. on DVD and video. Let the bugs know the For everyone who's ever felt a little out of place. Just not a very good bird. Comes a story of friendship. Now who's your friend? Acceptance. We're all so different. And yet so alike. And discovery. As Stella Luna, Janelle Cannon's award-winning book, comes to life for the first time as a full-length movie. The characters you love are joined by a few new friends. I am the one, the only superhero jumping spider. In a heartwarming tale that will have the whole family laughing and singing along. Yeah, got to bring out the best in you. Everyone's favorite friend has finally found a proper home. Stella Luna. Coming soon to DVD and VHS. Exclusively from MGM Kids and Scholastic. Yeah, to bring out the best in you. Hi, I'm Liam Aiken. I play Owen in Good Boy. We had a lot of fun training the dogs for this film. Here's a series of tricks that you can teach your dog at home. Have fun, and we'll see you at the end. Good boy! Hi, my name is Bonnie Judd, and I was the animal coordinator for Good Boy. And this is uh, Hubble, or really, his name is Flynn. Unbelievable! It's true! Can you say hi? Speak. That's good. Speak. Hey, that's good. I'm just going to teach you some basic uh, training. In order to get most of the steps that I do, you have to have your basics sit down and stand. As for things that I use, I start
guard my dogs in a quiet room and I get clickers which you can get from your local pet stores. Um, they're usually only around, you know, anywhere from 25 to 99 cents, so it's a cheap training product. This is a clicker, and so when the dog is doing the exact action you want it, you just click, and they'll understand that every time I hear that, that's a good thing. A lot of dogs, the first time they hear the clickers, they're a little nervous. I'm not shaking because I'm nervous. I'm shaking because I'm excited. If you get that type of dog, what you do is you hold your dog and you love it and cuddle it, or you're giving it cookies, and each time you give it a cookie, you click, and you, like, put a high pitch. That's a good dog to it as you do it so they get used to the clicker meaning it's a good thing Can I have a cookie? remember when you're talking to your dog if you come back and you're giving him praise to keep a high tone of voice as opposed to coming and go good boy good boy because low voices are um you know a sign of a warning or beware and high voices uh are you know love and affection and all things that mean good <laughs> who would say a crazy thing like that for reward i usually use when we're on set we use steak or chicken you want small pieces this is of steak. Um, we use roast beef and steak a lot because they don't get diarrhea from that. Oh, pardon me. So we have small pieces of that or small pieces of cheese. And remember, if you're feeding, you know, a bag of this, cut it out of their daily diet because otherwise you're going to have a great trained dog that's really obese. <laughs> to teach a stand, you actually have food in your hand. You take your food and you pull your dog forward with your food in your hand stand and you click as soon as all four feet are up so I'll show that to you again sit so you're actually pulling your dog forward with your food stand good and timing is everything and your tone of your voice is everything so when your dog does it right you have to make a big deal about him sit good stand Good. Okay, good boy. That's nice. Good job. I can do lots of things. So it's really important that after you finish an exercise, that you, number one, reward your dog, but also always remember to have a release. Release your dog. Don't just ask your dog to do something and then walk away from him. Let him know when the exercise is over or else he'll start shortening up the exercise and walking away on you. So the thing about when you ask your dog to do something is if you notice whenever he's done it right, I touch him and release him and tell him, all right, good boy. So the touch release is when he knows that the exercise is finished. We'll do whatever we need to do. really easily done we don't pull our dog we don't push our dog we just hold food and we have our hand brought up so your dog can't do anything else but sit and the second his butt touches the ground you release the food and you click on his butt actually touching the ground now sit so again food in hand bring your food up good boy okay and he gets the food as soon as his butt touches the ground you have um, your stand stay on the go then you can start to work on stay cute little tricks bird dog was just taught the same as you know shaking a paw or foot foot you get him to put his foot in your hand good and then you just slowly move your hand back foot foot good so on your feet stay do a bird dog that's cute do a bird dog that's cute <laughs> So once you have your stand stay, you can move on to many different tricks. That's one of them, or just foot, foot, yes, foot. Once you have him um, doing his sit, you can start working on your down. And with your down, it's the same thing. We're going to take food, put it in the palm of our hand, and bring our hand down. When his elbows touch the ground, that's when you want to give him reward. So again, the food's in the palm of your hand, and you bring your palm to the bottom, and you could put a little hole there for him to stick his nose in. When his elbows hit the ground, you tell him, all right, good boy. Down. And now we're gonna touch him and get distractions. We're gonna walk around. That's a good stay. So reward him because this time Ryan's throwing things and dropping things and still he's down and staying. <laughs> Once you have this exercise mastered, you can move on to on your side. Again, you put the cookie in your hand and you create a spot for the dog's nose to go into and you just twist your hand and the dog will roll over to try and dig the food out of your hand. Good boy! Okay, that's good. <laughs> 
you got that all sorted out, you can move into cute little cover. Cover your face. Oh, that's cute. Cover your face. Oh, you're so cute. Okay. So there's some tricks and, you know, some basics for you to work on. And these are all easy things that anybody can do at home with their own personal dog. All you have to do is spend time with your dog. Well, I hope you had as much fun as we did training our dogs. I can't guarantee you're going to get them to meditate or fly, but this is a start. Good luck.